FC24 is here, YouTube. So you know what that means. Another custom tactics video on formations that we possibly haven't done for mate, custom tactics videos on. But today is a little bit different. Today is your absolute bread and butter. Your 4 one 2 one 2 narrow is, in my opinion, from a lot of FC24 that I have played. And you can see I'm not even running a super team like I would normally as well. That is deliberate because at this moment in time, I want to see formations and custom tactics with teams that 99% of my viewers will be watching. And of course, that won't be with R9 and Mbappe as my front two day one of the game, right? So I thought, you know what? Let's run a little bit of a road to glory at the start just so then my custom tactics are more viable. And in my opinion, what I have played with this team right now on your screen, 4-1-2-1-2 narrow is probably the best formation on the game right now. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. For your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FC24 coins, please do check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at a checkout for 5% off your order. So straight off the bat, YouTube, you are going to want to use balanced on the defensive style. Press after possession loss and pressure on every touch are actually quite good at the start of EAFC24. But... With defending being a little bit harder than it would normally be. Defending is different. Like any of you that have played FC24, you will agree with me. Defending isn't as easy as it used to be. Whether at, whether that's because the defenders aren't as good as the 99 rated and stuff like that. Who knows? But defending is a little bit different. So because of that, I would stay well, well, well away from pressure on heavy touch. And pressed after possession loss at this moment in time. I think balance right now is the best thing to use on the defensive style. The width, this is where you can kind of gauge what you want to do or you can copy me exactly. I've actually gone all the way down to 40 on the width. Now, the reason being I've gone all the way down to 40 is because, like I just said a minute ago, defending is hard. So because defending is hard, you don't want your left back and your right back being miles away from your center backs at all. You don't want that. You want them nice and compact, Think of like a prime Sean Dice, you know, hard to be defensively solid, all of that good stuff. So that's why you are going to want to use the 40 width at the moment. Until we get used to defending it a little bit easier on FC24, you are going to want to use a lower width. Because of that, though, you can afford to be a little bit more aggressive with the defensive depth. So I've actually gone with 55. Nothing too drastic at the minute. When I first started playing around with the 4 one 2 2 narrow after playing a few drafts and thinking that narrow was probably the best. And then I went into rivals, confirm my thoughts. I was actually trying 60 depth. I was getting too caught out defensively with the 60 depth. I did a little tweak down to 55. All of a sudden, we're conceding a lot less goals. So this little triangle here, well, this little holy trinity balanced on the defensive style. 40 on the width and 55 depth. That's what I'm really liking at the minute. I'm, I'm thinking it's really good, really effective. That's why I'm using it right now on FC24. The offense. <laughs> YouTube, right? I'm going to be honest with you. I wish there was something different than what I'm about to say. <laughs> Believe you me, I, I wish there was. But let me know in the comment section down below. What am I about to say on the build-up play and chance creation? Yes, for the third year in a row, YouTube, you guessed it, three years in a row, balance of direct passing is the way. It is. It is. I actually did try long... What did I try first thing? I tried long ball and balanced, I think. And that was okay. Long ball and balance was good. But as soon as I went back to the bread and butter, balance and direct passing, well, shiver me timbers. All of a sudden, we're back making moves, aren't we? So yeah, it probably is going to be another year of balance and direct passing at this moment in time. I would love to be proved wrong further down the line. Believe you me, there is nothing more I would prove than to be, than to have that proven wrong. But at this moment, balance and direct passing. Now, the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, I have lowered the width down to 45, actually. So even though it is a bit of a narrow formation anyway, I'm kind of using, and not using and abusing that. I don't really like that word, but I'm kind of taking advantage of that. So I've gone really, really, really narrow with it. So I've gone all the way down, not, not all the way down, but just gone ever so slightly to from 50 to 45 width. Basically, I want my left centre mid and my right centre mid to be a little bit closer to my cam and my two strikers. I kind of want them in like a triangle line. So that's why I've gone down to 45. Players in the box all the way up to seven. You guessed it. The way I look at that YouTube is... The more players that we have in the box, the more likely we are to score a goal. It really is just that simple. And 
if you're going to take anything from this video, lower your corners and free kicks down from 3-3 three and three to 2-2. Two and two. It will stop you getting counter-attacked on a lot. Believe you me. So, custom tactics done YouTube. Player instructions then. The first thing you're going to want to do on your two strikers if, is have them both on stay central. So have them both on stay central. The next thing you're going to want to have them on is getting behind. Now, the getting behind, in my opinion, this year, from what I have played, and I've played a fair bit of FC24 at the moment, is very, very, very effective, YouTube, okay? Because even if we don't play the ball to our two strikers, so our two strikers are bombing forward, making runs forward, Think of the gap that then creates for our cam to operate. And our cam YouTube is a very important player in the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Probably the most important player actually in the 4-1-2-1-2 because he does everything. Well, actually it's a she. Paris does everything. She's brilliant by the way. If anyone wants to use like a cheap women's winger, she's unbelievable. She's rapping and everything. So, stay central and getting behind on the two strikers and that brings us nicely on to the cam and like i said the most important player in the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow is the cam now i have her on state well i have the cam on stay forward and get into the box for cross now the get into the box for cross even though i did use it a lot last year i liked it this year, from what I found on FC24 already, this is the game changer. All right, get into the box for cross. All of a sudden, you've got the extra passing options on. Everything just seems to work a little bit better and a little bit easier when you have the cam on get into the box for cross. So, in my opinion, YouTube, use it and abuse it. The cam, stay forward and get into the box for cross. That brings us nicely on to the left centre mid and the right centre mid. And funnily enough, YouTube, actually... Both of them are just on cover centre. That is it. So they are both on completely default settings. Put them on cover centre. Kind of pretty obvious. I want them to cover the centre of the pitch. You know, like a narrow formation is like a use and abuse formation, right? So because of that, you are going to want the left centre mid and the right centre mid to be on cover centre. Use and abuse the fact that it is a narrow formation, YouTube. That's kind of the way that I look at it. The CDM is then on stay back while attacking. And cover centre. I would probably say the stay back while attacking and cover centre will not change for FC24 at all. He is going to be on stay back while attacking and cover centre all year. That is what the CDM is going to be on. I then use both my left back and my right back on stay back while attacking. Because remember what I said at the start of the video, YouTube, that on FC24 at the minute, the hardest thing is defending. So we need to get our defensive structure right because going forward, because defending is a little bit harder than it was last year we're gonna have a lot more joy going forward anyway so we don't really need to flood the box with midfielders and fullbacks and everything just yet hence why my left center mid and my right center mid aren't on getting to the box for cross because i don't really feel it's needed yet that then brings us nicely onto the goalkeeper he is on comes for crosses and sweeper keeper and that right there is my best fc24 custom tactics and formation right now in my opinion. And it is fitting because I actually think the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow was the first formation I did last year as well on FIFA 23. So I've got a feeling there's a pattern here because people struggle defensively at the start of FIFA. Going towards a more narrow formation and a custom tactics at the start is actually more rewarding than it would be like a month down the line. So yeah, drop a like on today's video for me. Drop a comment down below. Remember, I do reply to every single comment. And if you can please, YouTube, hit that subscribe button to my channel. That would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA Positive Mental Attitude. Peace out. One love.